This right here is a Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer Box of Paldean Fates. Now you'll notice that it's encased in a beautiful crystal acrylic display, as it should be considering it really is just a collector's item, and these do tend to go up in value over time. That is if you can actually resist the urge to open them up. See where I'm going with this? Okay, so just hear me out. Whoops. Well, I mean, we gotta open it now, right? Today we are gonna scratch that itch to rip into not one, not two, but three Pokemon Center exclusive Paldean Fates Elite Trainer Boxes. Because even though we already pulled the shiny view in the first unboxing, and we're gonna go through the front, that's how we're doing it. We got the Gimme Ghoul. What? Bro, I'm still determined to pull that beautiful dark type Terraform special illustration rare Charizard EX. So settle in and let's potentially make a terrible financial decision together. And if you're new here, my name is Pokey Fang and welcome to the Fang Gang. Pause, before we get started, I wanna let you guys know that I am gonna be doing another giveaway in today's video. You're gonna to have to stick around till later to figure out what it is. And if you'd like to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is smash that like button, subscribe to join the Fang Gang, and leave a comment down below which Pokemon do you think deserves to get a shiny in this set that didn't. Giveaway winners are only announced down in the description of every new video that comes out. So best of luck, Fang Gang, and now back to the video. Boom, Paldean Fates exclusive. ETB, and as you can see, I already ripped holes in all of these things, and uh, that means there's no turning back. No turning back at all. We gotta get right into these, open them up, because you can't sell them like that, and uh, I guess you could display them that way with them cut open, but I don't know why you would want to do that. Uh, we've already gone through a set of ETBs in the last video. We pulled that shiny Mew, which is pretty crazy. No way. There's no way. And uh, I'm pretty pumped today. My energy's a little high. I'm probably gonna calm down a little bit more as we go. So stick around if you're here for the chill vibes. And uh, we're gonna get into this ETB, take a look at what's inside. It should be relatively similar to the uh, regular ETB, but there you go. Sleeves, these are not different. We have code cards going out to the fan gang all throughout the video as always. So get ahead and grab that. Hope you, hope you uh, get something good. Um, I don't know if you get the promo or what. We got our energy brick, get rid of that. All right, and then it looks like we have our two promos right here. Dividers, dice, uh, nothing super crazy or interesting. They're all the same as the regular ETB. The only difference is the number of packs that you get in this ETB and of course the promo. So you get two promos, two of the same promo uh, from this one, but there is a slight difference. Uh, this Pokemon Center exclusive ETB comes with a regular promo you'd get in a standard ETB, as well as a duplicate of that exact same promo but with that little Pokemon Center stamp on there. And that actually does increase the value of it. You'd be very surprised. It's such a minor difference, but the Pokemon Center exclusives definitely do tend to go for more money. I will be putting prices on the screen. I think the set's been ar around for like a couple weeks now. So I think we could safely uh, look at prices on the screens here, but we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 packs. I really wish there would be 12. Uh, especially for the price point, but we get 11 packs and uh, we're not going to get too greedy, but we are going to hopefully be able to pull the Charizard in today's video. That's the one I'm really looking for. I did actually pull the Iono uh, special illustration rare from this set and uh, that was actually from XP Collect. Shout out to Katie uh, on the live streams on TikTok. She actually pulled me that Iono. So we're not going to be chasing that. We're strictly chasing Charizard and then every other baby shiny. There's over 120 of them that we actually need to pull. So we're going to get right into this one. We'll open the other two together after we get through this first box here. We are going to be doing the Pokefang pack trick because we already looked at the commons and uncommons in the other video and we've pretty much seen them all. Code card going out to the fan gang. I'm going to go with Psychic Energy right off the rip. Darkness. Not bad. Not bad, honestly. Darkness, Metal, Psychic. I'll take them. Those are my favorites right there. All right, here we go. First pack. Boom. Curlia. Baby Shiny. I'm pretty sure I did need that one. I'm going to set that one aside. We're going to sleeve that just a second. Toad School. Oh, and a Houndstone. Beautiful. I love the Baby Shinies in this set, uh, the texture and the way that it goes all the way out to the edge of the card is really, really nice. I know that there's a lot of like other crazy shiny sets, like Hidden Fates specifically is one of the ones that I think everybody really, really loves. And uh, you can have great sets and then other sets that are also 
very good. I personally really enjoy opening this and who can afford to open Hidden Fates right now? I know I can, that's just, that's just wild. If you're opening Hidden Fates just for fun right now, spread the wealth, man. That is, that is a talent right there. That's an expensive set to open. All right, code card going out to the fan gang again. And uh, let's go with, you know what? I think we still need that psychic. Oh, fire. Okay, we got the Fuego. That is my fiance's favorite to pull. That's usually her good luck energy. All right, here we go. Boom. Okay, no baby shiny. Cottony. What else we got here? Uh, Barboach. And anything good in the last slot? Professor's Research Hollow. All right, nothing great on that one. So let's keep it moving here, guys. Super pumped to be opening this set still. Uh, I do think that it was maybe not short printed, but it seemed like it was actually relatively hard to get and the prices are kind of high for this set considering, uh, you know, Shining Fates was over printed like into oblivion to the point where I think it's cheaper to open Shining Fates than it is to open this set that's just came out that's super modern. Uh, let's go with, we're still going to go for Psychic and then we'll, we'll mix it up. We got to get that Psychic though. <sighs> Metal Energy. All right. One, two, three. My energy is off the charts today. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I don't have any caffeine in my system and I am drinking uh, some Liquid Death water. Uh, shout out to Liquid Death. Please sponsor my channel. Uh, I like to drink water while, while I do these because my throat gets dry from talking so much. Shimeko, Paldean student. Oh, and the Mimikyu, not the promo Mimikyu, just the hollow. All right, pull rates in this set have actually been pretty awesome and i'm hoping we continue that trend and we get some more awesome stuff psychic man it's literally going to be the last one that we get isn't it all right Ooh, finn is in very nice little dolphin finn is in such a cute pokemon uh baby shiny forgot to even say that nimona and a rev of room hollow so far two baby shinies next pack uh, i also just want to say massive thank you to everybody who was so kind in the comments from the last video i was feeling a little bit rusty i am still coming off of being sick i was off camera for a while and uh believe it or not that actually like takes a toll on me and it makes it a lot harder to get out of my head and at, you know out of the anxiety and start filming again uh let's go psychic still finally let's go all right that means we're gonna get some good luck one two three hopefully we get something besides a baby shiny this time Oh, we got a whooper. Okay, let's see what else we got. Fido. Oh, and an Iron Treads EX. Breaking up the pattern. No baby shiny in that one. Ooh, and I love this Pikachu. That's an adorable, adorable Pikachu. Regular Iron Treads EX. Nothing to write home about right there. But like I was saying, guys, thank you so much for the kind words. And the support here on the channel has been incredible. Hopefully we can continue to grow this positive uh, collector and fan community. Here we go. Code card going out to the fan gang. Enjoy that. And uh, let's go with grass type. I feel like we need grass type. Oh, electric. All right, we did also need that one still. It's interesting, I don't think we've doubled up on any energies yet. Noibat, Woobat, interesting. Oh, and a full art Nimona. Uh, what are we calling these again? It's just an ultra rare, right? As someone who played Scarlet and Violet, Nimona is a pretty cool character. First uh, other trainer that you meet in the game that uh, sort of like helps you out and battles with you in the beginning. If you didn't play the game, you don't know. That's who Nimona is, All right? I've been thinking about doing a video for people who are new to the hobby that just sort of breaks down uh, all the different characters that they're gonna see on the TCG side. If you're opening up the TCG and you haven't played any of the games, you haven't watched the anime in a while, and you have no idea who these characters are, that maybe it would be like cool to just sort of put something on that explains everything uh, that you may have missed. So I might do a video like that, uh, like a long form video that's just sort of like chill, put it on, relax, study, do work, whatever you wanna do, and learn about the Pokemon trainers. Uh, that of the past few generations and the most current one. So uh, anyway, enough blabbing. Let's go with uh, Psychic again. <sighs> Punchy's energy. <sighs> All right, if you know, you know. Regular show fans know about Punchy's. Ooh, okay, we got Clive. There is a, uh, I think there's a special illustration rare Clive in this set that's really cool. Sort of like a chibi style top down with little, little stumpy characters. It's kind of strange, but I actually really dig it. Clive. Grieverd, 
and a Zatu hollow. I saw the edge on that one, so I kind of knew that was gonna be just a regular hollow. All right, here we go. Code car going out to the Fang Gang. I'm trying not to cover up the, the numbers on those. And uh, let's go with um, water energy this time. Darkness again. It's like we're in a loop. I've been playing Alan Wake 2. I don't know if you guys play Alan Wake 2. Ooh, Gardevoir. I'll finish that thought in a second. Look at that beautiful Gardevoir. Uh, ultra rare. I think this is a ultra rare shiny, technically. EX. I really love the colorway difference of Gardevoir EX. I think the blue really, really works. And, and a double banger pack, Wug Trio. Very nice. And a Goldengo Hollow. So I did watch a video with Danny Phantom talking about how many packs he's actually opened to determine the pull rates and so on. And uh, it would seem, according to him, that of all the packs that he's opened, he has not seen a triple banger uh, demigod style pack in Paldean Faith. The best you can do is getting two hits in one pack, allegedly. If you guys have experienced something different, please share it in the comments down below. I would love to hear about it. And uh, let me know what you've pulled, what your best, let me know what your best double banger pack is. I mean, it's still an incredible thing when it happens. All right, here we go. Code car, going out to the Fang Gang. I feel like we're gonna go back to electric. Nope, metal. Still haven't gotten grass type. One, two, three, the front. Here we go. Boom. Oh, wow. Okay. Beautiful baby shiny. Wow. Murkrow. Love that. Don Fan. And a Raichu Hollow. It's kind of a nice Raichu right there. Really nice one. Uh, obviously, you guys know I love anything that's sort of like spooky or reminds you of like haunted castles or anything like that. And, uh, you know, anything that's a little bit gothic in nature is kind of my vibe. So. That purple Murkrow is actually really nice. Not bad, guys. One ETB. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hits. All right. We got two more packs still. And uh, pull rates on this set have been crazy. It's like a 7 out of 10 chance, 70% chance of getting something out of your pack, which is like probably some of the best pull rates we've seen in a while. I think Crown Zenith was something similar. All right. Here we go. Grass type finally. Nope, we got washed out. One, two, three. Can't wait to get into these other two ETBs right here. This set is so much fun. This is really my second time opening Paldean Fates. First one was in the first video, and now we're doing it here. I did get a couple packs on a live stream, but in terms of me opening stuff, this is it. Maractus, Bridgebax, and an Annihilate Hollow. Last pack here, guys, before we get into the other, oh, that was loud. The other two uh, ETBs. Here we go. Code card going out to the Fang Gang, of course. Really, if you are able to redeem those codes, let me know in the comments, guys. I want to hear about what you're able to pull. If you got anything good from those codes, because I do play the game. I would like to redeem the codes myself, but I think it's more important that I give them back to the Fang Gang. And uh, thank you for all the, the beautiful comments, the likes, and the viewership. So. All right, here we go. I don't think I did the energy card yet. We still gotta get a grass type. Oh, psychic though. All right, I'll take it. One, two, three. Here we go, Charmander. Uh, reverse, nice little Charmander there. Ghastly, my boy. I don't think we've gotten a Haunter yet. Well, I mean, I guess we wouldn't know. We would only know if we got a reverse Haunter because we've been skipping the, the uh, commons and uncommons. All right, here we go, last pack. Oh, the Aspathra. All right, guys, ETB number two coming right up. Already pre-cut there from the intro. We're gonna go straight to the packs in this one. Here we go. And don't forget, guys, we still have one more. And giveaway announcement is coming up. Any second now, any moment between now and the end of the video, I could be announcing what the giveaway is going to be. You already know from the intro how to enter, but you don't know what you're up against what the stakes are all right here we go uh grass type energy we still have not hit grass type on this video that's wild all right let's see what we got all right rare candy no comment rare candy maractus oh and a heat and rodom i love actually the different rodoms that show up in these sets sometimes when there's like two or three different ones 
Rotom is such an interesting Pokemon, the fact that it's like, I don't know, it could be literally like almost anything. All right, here we go. Code card going out to the fan gang. Grass, finally. Why? I, I don't understand <laughs> what's going on with the grass type energy. I mean, it's not even my favorite type, but I don't know, man. Let's see, we got anything good? <sighs> Ultra Ball, okay. Playable, I'll take it, I'll take it. Executor Reverse. And... Bro. What is happening? Why does this always happen to me? Why do I always get doubles? This is crazy. Do you guys get doubles as much as I feel like? I feel like I constantly get doubles. I don't know. You guys let me know down below if you feel like you are constantly getting doubles, especially from, uh, if you're buying them from like the same sort of place, the same regions and things like that. There we go, Nimona, we already took a good close look at that one. Would have been cool to get the uh, special illustration rare version of that, but we'll take it. All right, code card, going out to the fan gang. We've got lighting energy. If it was finally grass. I don't know, I would have lost it. Here we go. Ooh, very nice. Love a good Voltorb baby shiny. So simple in its design, and that blue looks really good. It's actually a really nice deep sort of blue that you wouldn't expect. And a Raichu and a Mimikyu. Hopefully the pace of opening up these packs is working for you guys. Uh, I don't want to have the longest videos in the world, but I don't want them to be so fast that uh, you know we just feel like we're rushing it because at the end of the day, I enjoy doing this. I'm not just doing it for the YouTubes. I'm actually doing this because I really enjoy opening Pokemon. Uh, here we go, grass type finally. All right, grass type does not exist. It's gone in the way of fairy energy, apparently. Paldane, Plodsire EX, right there in the first shiny slot. We got Lapras and an Armor Rouge. All right, I wanna see some more double bangers, some more dubby bangies. That's super weird, let's pretend I didn't say that. Just, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It sounded good in my head, it sounded terrible out loud. Here we go, code card going out to the fan gang. All right, so it's gotta be grass type, it has to be. Punchy's energy, all right, one, two, three, to the front, and, oh, it's just a pine cone. okay. Let's see what else we got. Clobopus, this is actually one of my fiance's favorite uh, Pokemon, because it's just adorable, and it likes to fight, and she just likes little, I don't know, I don't even know what to call that, just likes little spunky fighting types. And the Clive, not the special illustration rare, but the ultra rare Clive with that crazy, crazy hair. I don't know if with that hair, it looks more like Cool Trainer Ryan or uh, Brian from Pokey Any. I can't decide. Neither of them wears glasses and neither of them is old. So maybe it looks like neither of them, but let's go ahead and sleeve this guy up. We got a Clive, full art, ultra rare. Ultra rare, full art, full art, ultra rare. All right, gotta remember. Food card, going out to the fan gang. Try not to drift off camera as much here, guys. Sorry about that. Okay, it's gotta be grass type. There is none. Okay, I'm giving up. I'm gonna give up on grass type, and then what's gonna happen is the next one we open is gonna have it. Artisan, Numel, and an Executor Dud Pack something quite rare to see uh, in this set is a dud pack and we just got one i really hope we can pull that charizard like i'm not giving up hope yet we still have plenty of packs to open and uh we have to do it it's the whole point of ripping into the sealed collection and taking this huge financial loss is to get that charizard. okay here we go fire energy give us some good luck for that zone all right, well, <laughs> let's see what we got. Let's see if we can get it anyway. One, two, three. Oh, Tandem House, followed by Moonlit Hill. Apparently, this is a good card uh, to play right now in the meta. And uh, I'm gonna set this one aside because I'm thinking about doing a Gardevoir 
EX deck, and I think this card works really well with Gardevoir. And a Toad Scroll EX would have been even cooler if there was a Gardevoir EX right back there. All right, here we go. We got the code card. Don't forget guys, giveaway announcement is coming up very soon. Now that we have grass type energy finally. Let's go. All right, one, two, three to the front. And then because we just got the grass type, I'm gonna announce the giveaway right up there. Mm. Our ball of uh, to go with the grass type, that happens a lot. Pikachu verse and a Mabalsta. I do love that Pikachu artwork. All right, guys, we got a couple packs left before we switch over to our final ETB, but it's time to announce the giveaway. I'm going to be giving away another 10 packs of Paldean Fates as well as the Mimikyu promo to one lucky winner here in the Fan Gang. All you have to do is, of course, smash that like button, subscribe to join the Fan Gang, and of course, leave a comment down below, as mentioned in the intro, which shiny Pokemon would you have liked to see in Paldean Fates? that didn't end up making the cut. All right, best of luck, Fang Gang. Let's switch back over to the card cam and get into this Pikachu pack artwork. A few more packs here, and then we're gonna get into this final one. Guys, best of luck with that giveaway, seriously. All right, and make sure to uh, put the notifications on. I'm not being stingy, I'm not being greedy. Seriously, if you don't get the notifications, then I don't know if YouTube's going to tell you if you won, because I do tag the users down in the description, but sometimes people just never come back. And uh, it's a shame to uh, have won a giveaway and then never get to get your prize. And I want that to happen. I want you guys to win. All right, let's go. Psychic Energy. We got Fuego. Fuego, Fuego, baby. One, two, three to the front. Ooh, Paldean Student. This is a weird card because there's there's some ultra rare full arts of Paldean Students uh, in this set. And each time it depicts multiple, I think four every time. And uh, it's just not plural, Paldean student, but it only ever it only ever shows four, never just one. So strange. Nihilab reverse, Houndstone, Hollow, and a Numel behind it. I cannot wait to get into this last box because I have a feeling something's telling me it's a little spicy. Something's telling me there's some heat coming from that. That it could be the Charizard. It's got to be. I know it. Feel it in my jellies. Oh, you feel it. You feel it in your jellies, don't you? There's nothing in my jellies. All right, uh, let's let's go with. I feel like it's been a minute since we did water, metal. All right, it's actually been a minute since we've done darkness too. So let's try that next time around. Let's see what we got here, guys. I don't don't I feel any texture? No, I don't. Charmeleon, Rev of Room, and a Fortress EX. Last pack, guys. Let's hope we get some last pack magic here. We have been known to get some very wild last pack magic here and some first pack magic, I'll tell you what. All right, here we go. Boot card going out to the fan gang and then we're getting into the next ETB. I'm gonna go with darkness. No, nope, punchies. All right, fist bump in that punchy energy. Here we go. Oof, heat Rotom reverse. Did we get the reverse last time? I can't remember. Or is this a hollow as well? Yeah, it's a hollow as well. Pawmy, very nice. Illustration rare. And a gold dingo hollow. I do really like the illustration rares that are in this set. I, I wish there was more of them. It's my only complaint about uh, this set. I think there's some good special illustration rares. Everything about it is great. Lots of baby shinies. But the illustration rares, I think there's only three or four of them. And uh, just it could have been so much better if they just had a larger amount of these. It makes me think that this set might have been a little bit rushed. I'm not sure, because I imagine that these take a lot longer to design than the baby shinies. That's, that's my guess. But anyway, let's get into this next ETB. Number three, we are here to open up the final Pokemon Center exclusive bad investment choice ETB uh, of 2024 situation here. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm doing. Somebody send help. <laughs> All right, Paldean Fades, let's go. Last 11 packs, so we opened 33 packs in total today. Here we go, good card going out to the Fang Gang. We've got, of course, Darkness Energy, Lightning, damn. Totally forgot about that one. All right, let's see what we got here, guys. Can we get some first pack magic this time? No, Pineco, 
thought I felt some texture, but I was wrong. Sometimes we're wrong. Zatu and a Neuvern regular EX and that Pikachu again. That Pikachu just keeps on showing up and I'm here for it. Here for it anytime it wants to. Redeem your rewards. Pokemon.com slash redeem. Give it a shot. Okay. Darkness? No, we're never going to get it. We are having terrible luck with the uh, predicting of the energies today. Gimme Ghoul. Noibats. And a Zaku. Dud Pack. We got a Dud Pack. One of the very rare, but occasionally they do pop up them Dud Packs. Okay. Code card. Going out to the Fangang. I keep covering up those letters. I'm sorry about that, guys. Hopefully, you can still can't, uh, scan the QR codes, though. Uh, let's go, Darkness, still. Uh, all right, giving it up, giving up on Darkness, and then that's how we will manifest it. The Dene, reverse. Rare Candy, Squawkabilly, EX, regular EX hit. Come on. Where is this Zard? Man, I am starting to get. Very antsy. I want to see this thing. I've seen pictures of it and uh, people uploading pictures and videos of it. I've seen it get pulled maybe once. I actually don't even know if that's true. I can't off the top of my head think of somebody who pulled it. I've seen videos uploaded, but I haven't been there for anybody to actually pull one live. Uh, but it just feels like it's a myth at this point. We've got Psychic Energy, of course. Okay, fine. Metal Energy. Speaking of Metal Energy, check out Pokebang.com. Peep the new merch, Metal Energy Collection. I'm rocking it right now. At some point, I'll make some kind of video teaser trailer kind of explaining the whole you know, methodology behind it, what it stands for. I think you guys are really going to dig it, what I do with the merch in the future. It's, it's going to be cool. All right, let's see what we got. Maractus. Palafin, let's go. Did we end up getting... Yeah, I think we got all three of the illustration rares from the set and an executor. Yeah, so we got the Wug Trio right there. And then we have Palafin and Palmy. And that is it for the illustration rares, guys. That's so crazy to me. Why even put illustration rares in the set? If there's only gonna be three of them. Super weird. All right, code card going out to the Fang Gang. Of course, it's gonna be Psychic now. Punchies again. One, two, three to the front, not to, there we go, not to baby shiny, an ultra ball, and a mobile stiff. I really wanna see a special illustration rare in this video. We haven't pulled one yet, 33 packs, I think we can do it. You know, obviously it's harder to pull a special illustration rare than just 33 packs a lot of time, but sometimes you get lucky and we've been known to get lucky here because you guys smash that luck button pretty often. All right, let's see grass type. Darkness, finally. I knew if I stopped calling it, it would show up. That is how it works. Oh, we got Executor. Ghastly again, reverse. And a Mimikyu, another dud pack. Couple more packs here, guys. We're coming down to the end. Hopefully, if you haven't already, you have entered the giveaway by leaving that comment down below about which Baby Shiny got snubbed in Paldean Fates and should have been in there. Here we go. Code card going out. Almost out the window, actually. Uh, it's gonna be punchies again, because I don't think uh, we've gotten them that close together recently. Oh, okay. I will say they are mixed up quite a bit, but we did only get, what, one grass type, I think? We got the little Mime Junior, cutie. I think I have a uh, Christmas ornament that came with a Pokemon Center order this year. I'm fairly certain that had Mime Jr. in it. I did have it on the tree, but I didn't order it. It was just like a free gift on Pokemon Center. Charmander. And there it is, the Paldean Student Ultra Rare. And as you can see, there's four of them. Four Paldean Student. So weird. Not for nothing, but what is that guy up to? Why is he smelling his finger? Hey, Terry, <laughs> smell my finger. Oh, what the hell is that? <laughs> All right. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Sniffing his finger. Let's hope it wasn't anywhere weird. That's all I'm saying. Hopefully it wasn't anywhere weird. 
All right, code card going out to the fan gang. Maybe he was just picking his nose or something. Speaking of picking your nose, green, grass energy. Yes. All right, we gotta do it, we gotta do it. Gotta do it. Okay, we did it. Stay and fly. Okay, one, two, three to the front. Oh my gosh, how many packs we have? Three, three packs after this one. Come on, Charizard, come on. Mm. Annihilate, I'll take it. Annihilate is actually a really cool Pokemon. Very hard to uh, evolve Primeape into Annihilate in Scarlet and Violet. Barboach and an Annihilate again. Okay, apparently not that difficult to pull though. Here we go. Three packs left. Can we do it? Can we get basically last pack magic here as we go? Code cards going out to the fan gang. Fire energy. Yes. We're on we're on fire, guys. We're on fire. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna switch cameras again. I don't want people being weird and thinking that I'm cutting the video if I end up pulling a Zard right now. Because we are going to pull the Zard. We're manifesting it. Boom. No. Armor Rouge. Penny special illustration rare though. I will take it. Absolutely gorgeous. There was an illustration rare of Penny in an earlier set, maybe Scarlet and Violet Base or Palde Evolved. I can't remember. I really like that one too. Always with this sort of like darker classroom vibe with like a window. It's like a theme going on with Penny and a Cerule Edge. I do think it's interesting that the Penny and I think the Nimona and the Arbin special illustration rares all have it where the Pokeball is like down here front and center. I gotta check to see if it's the same artist on all of them, I don't know for sure. But if it's not, I wonder if that was planned or not. Or if they just all sort of had the same idea. Like, I I work in marketing, I'm a creative director, and I have seen that before where people have come to the table with the same idea, simply because they all found the same inspiration. So, we will find out, because we're gonna pull another one. No, we're not, but we're gonna pull, we're gonna pull the Charizard right now. It's in this pack. In this pack or it's in the next one, it has to be. I'm make, making it happen. All right, make sure to smash the like button if you haven't already. If you see it and it's not filled in, fill that thing in. It's satisfying, I promise. Okay, water energy, metal. All right, got rusted just now. All right, here we go, guys. Three, two, one. <laughs> Wiggly tough, no! <laughs> They're everywhere. They're everywhere. The Wigglytuff is back. Oh my gosh, you guys. I feel like every set in Scarlet and Violet has had a Wigglytuff EX of some kind to just haunt me. Ralts and a Rev of Room Hollow. All right, I'll take it though. It's a hit. It is in fact a hit. It's an ultra rare shiny hit. Wigglytuff EX. Where are my Wigglytuff fans at? Wiggly, Wigglytuff is not my favorite Pokemon, and I tend to pull way too many of them, and they kind of drive me crazy. But if you're a fan of Wigglytuff, no harm, no foul. Let me know in the comments. Let me know why, actually. All right. Code card going out to the fan gang, guys. This is the last one. We're going to slow roll it. But of course, it's going to have to be Psychic Energy in the last pack. Oh, man. I really thought for a second it was going to be. But we got the punchies energy. Thank you guys so much for sticking around all the way to the end here. We're gonna go from the front on this last pack. Hopefully we can finally get the Zard that we're looking for. If not, probably gonna be more Paldean Fates videos in the future. I have some really great videos that I have to catch up on from before I was sick. So some stuff might get like dropped in weird orders and I'll try to make note of that in each one of the videos. But uh, hopefully we get the Zard here and we, we get on with Paladay and Fates and we can start talking about Temporal Forces. Temporal Forces is right around the corner, guys. So close together. Super pumped about that set. Cyber Judge and Wild Force, we opened it up. We're gonna open up some more, hopefully before Temporal Forces comes out and get some more previews of the cards that are in that set. Curlia, Technical Machine, Crisis Punch. <laughs> Crisis Punch. Frigibax, reverse. I don't know, guys. I don't know if I can get a shiny in the second slot. Let's find out. Mankey and an Armor Rouge Hollow. 
All right, guys, these are gonna be my favorite two pulls of today, the Murkrow Baby Shiny and that Penny Special Illustration Rare. Again, thank you so much for sticking around, open up packs with me. I really appreciate you guys. I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, happy haunting, Fang Gang.